All right, guys, so we're doing Suli Gaishin, and real quick, so the basic concept here, imagine this is a line right here, and this is a line. Matt, put your feet up here. Now, for the Suli Gaishi, I want him falling directly straight. I'm going to pull him on this line here, and I'm going to move my body outside. For instance, can, we, can you get this thing over here, this line here? Can you get this line? So we have this line here. I want to get him... I want to get him coming this way. Now, Matt, be strong like a statue. Now, if I go sideways, I have no power. But if I pull here, he's going to fall over. Stay there, Matt. If I push him this way, he's going to go back. This is the concept. Now, this I believe this means like corner throw. And it's a Sudemi Waza. It's a sacrifice throw. So basically, I'm going to start here with a right-handed grip. This actually might be better. Uh, a monster scapula. So... If I'm doing right, I'm going to go right, 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 right. Everything's going to be right. I have a right hand. I'm going to step in with the right. I'm going to kick up with the right. I'm going to throw him over right side. So Matt's legs out a little bit just for the sake of it. Now, I'm just going to do the step of the pull. This is a rotational throw. So as I step in here, and I just fall. Now look, when I fell, did I fall on the line? No, because if I had fallen, Matt would have fallen on top of me. You would have fallen on top of it. Let's go ahead and do it again, man. This time, I'm going to try to kick up with the leg. When you kick up with the leg, you want to kick up right here. When the hamstring connects to the buttocks, not the dose levels. You want to have what? A training partner. If you do that, nobody's going to train with you. So we're here. Traditional grip. Actually, this is better probably. I'm going to do it slow. I'm going to try to kick up. So right, 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 right. And of course, we want to come in and cover. Back up again. I'll do a left-handed grip. So this is going to be what now? Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. left. Well, show me your left hand. Show me your other left hand. That, does that work? And you go, show me your right. Your other right. And then the, the people get it. They do get it. So here we go. I'm going left, 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 left. I'm going to do the step. Actually, this is wrong. I need to go what? Where's his left leg? Right here. I step in, I do a rotation, and then I cover the mat right there. One more time. Like I say, I'm still working at this new, and this is called Yoko Sumigayashi. Why? I'm falling to my what? My side. My side. So where's his left side? <laughs> Everything's left. Did I get the fly mat? Yeah, good job, I get that. Back up again. Now, one thing I want to show you. There are three moves we're going to learn that we can hit off this. Remember that? We have Sumigayashi, so Tomonagi, and Ukiwaza. Now, when we're here, be standing straight up. This is not really good. We want to get him, give me a hollow man. Hollow man is like this. Okay? If you ever get a wrestler that comes in and does judo, if you ever do jiu-jitsu, like Daniel's a wrestler, What's the angle stance? Show me. Show me the angle. He does this, but soon he's doing nothing judo. This works on guys like that. How do we get him into a hollow? How do we get him to the hollow man? What can we do, Gabe? You can send him up with foot sweeps. Well, come, get, get, get one foot sweep. Uh, oh, Koji. And now he's in the what? He's in the what stance now? Kind of like a hollow man. Oh, well, we can do that. What's another setup we can do? What's another foot sweep? What's another one, Ivy? Um, Kosoto. Kosoto. And now he's in what? He's in that hollow man stance right there. Let me get the throw. Thank you. Okay, guys.